As I stood in front of the mirror, I couldn't help but admire how the teal cocktail dress shimmered under the light. The fabric was silky against my skin, gliding smoothly and sensuously over my satin panties. I took a deep breath, trying to calm my racing heart. This was it. This was the moment I had promised. I turned to my girlfriend, who was beaming with excitement. Now, my sweet little crossdresser boyfriend, she said, her eyes twinkling with mischief. You said that if I could find you the perfect pretty cocktail dress that was delightfully silky on the skin and would glide slinkily and deliciously over your satin panties, that you would wear it and actually go out in public with me as my hot sissy girlfriend. She stepped closer, her fingers lightly tracing the bejeweled waistband of the dress. How does this dress work for you? She asked, her voice soft and encouraging. I looked at her reflection in the mirror, my face a mix of nervousness and excitement. It's perfect, I said, my voice barely above a whisper. The dress hugged my body in all the right places, making me feel both elegant and daring. She smiled wider, taking my hand in hers. You look beautiful, she said, her words filled with genuine admiration. And I am so proud of you for being brave enough to do this. I felt a surge of confidence as I held her gaze. Thank you, I replied, squeezing her hand. I couldn't have done this without you. With a final glance in the mirror, we headed towards the door. Tonight, I wasn't just her boyfriend, I was her sissy girlfriend, and we were going to take on the world together. We stepped out of the apartment, the evening air cool against my bare legs. The city lights twinkled like stars, casting a magical glow on the bustling streets. My girlfriend, Sarah, held my hand firmly, her touch a comforting anchor in this sea of unfamiliarity. As we walked, I could feel the swish of the dress against my thighs, a constant reminder of the promise I had made. I glanced at Sarah, who was smiling radiantly. Her confidence was infectious, and I found myself standing a little taller, my steps becoming more assured. Our first stop was a cozy little restaurant downtown. The host greeted us warmly, and I couldn't help but notice the admiring glances from a few patrons. My cheeks flushed, a mix of embarrassment and pride. Sarah led us to our table, her hand never leaving mine. As we settled in, she leaned over and whispered, You're doing amazing. How are you feeling? I took a deep breath, letting her words bolster my courage. Nervous, but also excited, I admitted. It's thrilling to be out like this with you. She smiled, her eyes sparkling. Good. Just remember, you're beautiful and brave. And I'm right here with you. Dinner passed in a blur of laughter and conversation. The food was delicious, but it was Sarah's company that truly made the evening special. She treated me with such tenderness and respect, making me feel cherished and loved. After dinner, we decided to take a walk along the river. The moonlight danced on the water's surface, creating a serene and romantic backdrop. Sarah stopped at a secluded spot, turning to face me. I've always wanted to share moments like this with you, she said, her voice soft. To see you embrace this side of yourself makes me so happy. I looked into her eyes, my heart swelling with emotion. Thank you for believing in me, I replied. For pushing me out of my comfort zone and helping me see the beauty in this. She cupped my face in her hands, her touch gentle. You are beautiful, inside and out. And I will always support you, no matter what. In that moment, I felt a profound sense of acceptance and love. Being Sarah's sissy girlfriend wasn't just about the clothes or the appearance. It was about embracing my true self and sharing that with the person I loved most. As we stood there, wrapped in each other's arms, I realized that this was just the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. A chapter filled with love, acceptance, and the courage to be ourselves, no matter what. And with Sarah by my side, I knew we could face anything together.